Welcome to Dorset. Today we're at Holes Bay and we're here for sunrise. Great to see you all again, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. As you can see behind me, it's all kicking off this morning. We've got a fantastic sunrise here at Holes Bay. It's a little bit of a strange venue. It's very much one of those Marmite places. You either love it or hate it. Um, if you're not local, you probably won't know it and you're certainly not gonna see it in a guidebook or anything like that. In fact, it's not even a good venue. I don't particularly like it at all, but there is a couple of things it has going for it. There's a couple of old boats here that have uh, just been sort of dilapidated, have absolutely rusted to just a hole or all the wood is absolutely rotten and they've got a real character to them. And I really do like to shoot these. And the other thing is it's just around the corner from my house. And I looked out this morning, the forecast was absolutely dismal and you know nothing was looking like it was gonna happen. And I just happened to have a look out and as you can see, I couldn't get out the door fast enough. It looked absolutely fantastic and I just knew it was all gonna kick off. So I needed to get somewhere local and very, very fast. So I came here today. So it's not gonna be the best venue that you'll ever see, but uh, as I say, it does have a little bit of a charm to it for me. And uh, when you've got a sky like this and you've got water with a reflection, <sighs> win-win. Hulls Bay is actually located in Pool Harbour and it's a small offshoot of the harbour itself so it's uh, effectively it's almost just a lake but um, as I say what it does have going for it is a couple of these very very sort of interesting old boats and uh, you know good views and reflections plus it's mirror calm today as well so you know you just get uh, double your money for the shot with that reflection so it's well worth having a go at but uh, just look at that sky I mean it's absolutely phenomenal this morning I can't believe that uh, you know we've got such a great sky when the forecast was literally for dismal weather for the entire day and uh, you know if you looked at just the forecast there's no way in the world you would have come out and uh, that's the thing about landscape photography it continues to surprise me every single time it just out of nowhere we've got this wonderful sky I'm not going to talk too much at the moment I'm going to get taking a few pictures because I really don't want to miss out on this sky so I'll see you in a second So our first composition of the day is these old boats that we've got just down here. And of course, you know, we've got the sunrise going off in the background as well. But um, these particular old boats, I mean, they're just like a rusted skeleton, just the, the holes of a boat. And uh, the other one, it's just covered in all of this fantastic algae. And it's just a really, really unique look. As I say, it's not necessarily something really, really attractive. And it's not going to be one of those sort of pictures that sells really well, if at all. But um, it's just got, a, you know, a character and a charm about it. And that's what I'm trying to really show in this particular shot. Um, I just, you know... I, I want people to look at this as, you know, it's just like a kind of a boat graveyard, but it still has like a, a real pretty charm to it. And uh, yeah, I, I really like this composition. We've got basically this boat just here in our foreground, followed by the other one. And then of course the uh, sunrise just exploding in the sky just behind it. Um, in terms of uh, filters, because we've got this reflection in the water, I've actually chosen to go onto a, a soft grad. Um, and I've also got a hard grad on there as well. So what's happening there is as the water transition goes through, you've got this sort of soft graduation going down to make sure we get all of that sunrise as it should be. And then we've got the hard grad to of course hit the horizon and darken that down a little bit more because the uh, the sky is ever so slightly uh, more, um, sort of bright than the uh, the water but of course the water reflection you know you can really really knock that out and I really want this color to come through all the way so uh, yeah it's a bit of a strange method but it works really really well it's very very effective so uh, yeah I'm going to nail this composition before it goes
In terms of settings, we're using pretty much standard landscape photography settings, really. We're using f11 on the aperture. Uh, we've got shutter speed at the moment of around about two and a half seconds, and I'm on ISO 50, which is my base ISO to give me the best quality. Um, you know, you could vary it up, but uh, I want a front to back sharpness for these because there's some interesting boats further out as well. So uh, f11 will really achieve that. Uh, there's a single boat just over the, the other side, and for that one, I might go down to f8 because the um, you know, the, the rear of the uh, the shop really doesn't have an awful lot to, of interest in there, but the boat is obviously what we're really interested in. Um, so I might drop that down to about F8 and just get a really, really nice, sharp, tight focus on that particular boat. For our second composition of the day, we're going to use this other boat that's just here. Now this one's not an old wreck, it's a boat that's actually in use, but it uh, again has a little bit of a charm about it and because it's nice and sort of bright being a white colour, it shows up quite well in the foreground and uh, again pretty much standard shot, bit cliche, boat coming in from the corner, sunrise just out in front of it. But uh, I mean it's such a beautiful sunrise and with it reflecting in that lake as well, it really doesn't look too bad at all. So uh, that's the uh, second one. As I say, gonna go on to uh, F8 for this particular shot, just to um, really, you know, get a, a little bit more tight, sharp focus on that boat and letting it fall off as it goes further into the scene because I'm not really too worried about what's going on in the distance. In fact, it's not particularly attractive anyway. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna concentrate on that one, just go down to F8. That sunrise was ridiculously short-lived. It was over in a matter of minutes. And this is the thing with, uh, you know, these sort of, uh, well, late spring, early summer uh, sunrises. The sun just comes up and goes down at ridiculously uh, fast speeds and you've got to really, really be on it. It's not like in winter where you get a nice lingering long sunrise or sunset because the sun's going down at a, you know, a much more sort of smooth angle. Here, it's just almost coming up right away and uh, you know you have to be really, really fast to sort of get it. But uh, it was a you know an early old start as well this morning, 4 a.m. start. And if I'd have gone anywhere sort of further out, we'd have been talking sort of half two, three o'clock in the morning start. And uh, they really are punishing when you get those but uh, when you get a result like this just doesn't matter it's so worth getting up and making that little bit of extra effort just to get out but what a morning look at it out there absolutely incredible well, the sun's up now, and uh, as I say, that sunrise was over very, very quickly, but we've got some beautiful light just on the side of these boats here. But uh, it's a very, very awkward shot because we've got a pylon right overhead and the cables run straight down. So we've got to get much further over to the left of this boat than I'd like. I'd like to take it side on looking over to here, but it's just got all these messy pylons in and it really, really wouldn't look quite so nice. So we're uh, just going to try and take a couple from the side and see if we can get that nice reflected light on the side of that boat because it's really, really glowing up. Up and it's got beautiful rust just on the side of this boat, which is, you know, a real brilliant burnt orange colour. And uh, when it catches that light, it really does look lovely. So, uh, yeah, just going to try and uh, see if we can catch some nice shots with the light. It's a, it's a shame because there's not really an awful lot else to shoot around here um, at this particular location. You are very, very limited to these boats. I mean, every direction you look, there's either houses, pylons, city skyline but it's not an interesting city skyline so uh, yeah you are quite limited to these compositions but uh, I really feel like we've got something in the bag already so I'm kind of happy to just have a little experiment now and uh, see if we can just nail a couple of other bonus shots more than anything. Well, as quickly as it started, it's gone. And that's the thing with landscape photography. One minute, it can be absolutely chaos and bedlam. You can have the best conditions, light everywhere, gorgeous color in the sky, and the next, absolutely nothing. The forecast rain is definitely in the air. You can feel it now. It's got very, very damp. And uh, I think it's probably literally minutes away from uh, from raining, so uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll stick a couple of pictures up. Please do let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your views. I love engaging with you guys, and uh, it's always really, really nice to uh, hear uh, your thoughts.
I hope you guys have enjoyed Holes Bay today. It's been an absolutely spectacular morning. I've really enjoyed coming out and uh, you know, I'm so pleased that I got to show you this uh, uh, beautiful sunrise as it happened. So uh, I hope you liked it. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. It really does help the video to get out. And as always, thank you so much for all the support that you give. Every time you guys hit the like button and make a comment, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. It's lovely to engage with you. So thank you so much. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. There's loads more content to come. Great to see you all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.